Hi, Susie Rhodes with Past Masters here with this week's questions of the week. This week, our section exam is going to come from series six. It's section four of the content outline, obtains and verifies instructions. We're gonna take a section exam from within our learning management system. Let's check it out. When a broker dealer affects a transaction in a penny stock for or with the account of a customer, they must provide the customer, the capitalization of the company, the average stock price over the last month, the aggregate amount of any compensation received, or a loss guarantee. That's not allowed. They must disclose the aggregate amount of any compensation received. So you click what you believe is the correct answer. You get the green check mark if it is right. You click show explanation and you can read the rationale. You can also listen. When a broker dealer affects, all of our questions have audio explanations for you. Which of the following is not found on an order ticket? Client's name and address, terms and conditions of the order, market limit or stop, the account number or long or short. The client's name and address is not found on an order ticket. Confirmation, sure, but not on the order ticket. Which of the following open orders are automatically adjusted when a stock goes X, dividend? Those marked good till canceled, open buy stops and open sell limits, all open orders, or open buy limits and open sell stops. So if you think about this for a minute, X dividend, the market price will go down by the amount of the dividend. And what orders are held in the books of the specialists that exist below the current market price? We remember them with an acronym of OBLAS, open buy limits and open sell stops. Those are the orders that are going to be adjusted downward, automatically adjusted when a stock goes X dividend. The orders above the current market price are not going to be adjusted. Not all orders are adjusted. Just open by limits and open sell stops. Broker dealers must file customer complaint summaries with FINRA. All four of my choices are quarterly. So the question is when quarterly? So no later than the end of the month, no later than the 15th of the month following the calendar quarter being reported. Yes, that is the correct answer. Broker dealers must file customer complaint summaries with FINRA quarterly, no later than the 15th of the month following the calendar quarter being reported. All of the following books and records must be kept for the life of the broker dealer except stock certificate books, all forms BD and BDW, articles of incorporation or customer complaints. So the first three must be kept for the life of the firm. Customer complaints, however, must be kept for four years. So that's a nice and short section of the content outline on the Series 6 exam. It's only five questions. So you'll click to view your score report. You will see the section of the content outline obtains and verifies instructions, and it has Three topics, quotes, order through settlement, and errors, complaints, and resolutions. So those are the topics that I cover within the Series 6 course. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn those notifications on. If you have any questions at all related to this video, ask me in the comments below. If you would like to check out Past Masters Securities course offerings or to enroll in any of our programs, there is a link found in this video's description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to have you as a student soon. Happy studies. You got this.